because what it's going to do is going to allow, allow you to find retracements to the exact bar with reading my trend chart. So, Gerald, let me know when you're ready, and uh, we're going to start firing this thing off. One second. Okay, let's go into crude oil. Let's take a look at, um, to make it simple here, now go crude oil and gold. Let's take a look at the Russell here this morning. I'm going to show you how to trade this thing. Let's first of all, why did I come up with this indicator? What this indicator does is when you see these boxes close, in fact, I'll go over to this morning and we'll work our way up and then we'll go over to this morning's trade starting. You see all these green boxes all the way up? This is off of a small time frame. This is a three sim Renko. The neat thing about this is, is that I can, I can trade off small, uh, hey Tom, I can trade off uh, smaller time frame charts with small stops with larger time frame trend. So what I came up with was a trend box. These boxes represent my trend chart, which is based off the nine sim Renko. So when you see a box, and I'll, let me just show you right here. When you see a box that comes up like this, so these are all the three SIM price bars. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. 16 bars uh, on the rank, 16 Rinko bars to one 9 SIM Rinko bar. So this box represents one 9 SIM Rinko bar the high and low open and close of the bar. All right, so with the trend filter built in. So now what we can do is we can put in my SIM trend box on any small time frame, and we're gonna know when the large time frame is confluing with the small time frame with trend. Now how is that important? Because you sure as heck can't trade off of a small time frame because you're going against larger time frame trend. Well, what I realized is that the trend chart is so powerful, we have traders just making ticks just off the nine sim alone, the large time frame. We have a lot of traders that just trade off that. What happens though, you trade off a larger time frame, your stops get larger, right? So what I want to do is I want to come up with an indicator that says, hey, let's see where the nine sim trend is, the trend chart, because it has a trend filter built into it. But let's trade off the smaller time frames based upon their setup on their trend also. So what we're doing is we're having a macro time frame conflict with the micro time frame and it works beautifully. Watch this. Here's this morning's price action on the Russell 2000. The first box is typically your best box. That's going to that's when you see a first box come up like this. And this is a transition box on a low. If you look, that's a low and here's a low. The first one is typically the best, the box you're going to get. So here's your green box that says you have a you the trend is up. We have a possible bottom in the market. Well, you know I have simple moving averages that I use. I mean moving averages are worthless, but they're great for trend. So when you get that first crossover, you want to look for the first retracement on my full retracement indicator. Once I get below 10%, I want to try to go long. So I want positive market delta or you can let it turn green on your Rinko bar. That right there was an extreme buy. That's a perfect buy setup right there because I've got two time frames confluing. I've got my larger time frame that says I'm up. I got buying pressure and I got my smaller time. I got buying pressure. Now in hard trends, the cool thing, as you can see this morning, you, you, once you get in hard trends, the sucker can really hold it all the way up sometimes. So you can use it as a trailing stop loss sometimes also if you're in a really trend market. All right, so it's the first trade. Now, I like the first two waves. I like the first wave and the second wave. As long as I'm still green and then I get the second wave below 10%, I like wave three and wave five beginning a trend. And that's what happened this morning on the Russell. So those will be your top trades. Now, let's go to this morning's chop action. It works the same way if you start a downtrend. Here was your first red box indicating a possible transition to the downside. So what you want to do when you see that first red that formed, the close was right here, you'd want to take this level short. That level because you're above 80%. You couldn't take this one because the box wasn't formed yet, but there you go. 
Vice versa, if I look at this, this is just trading off the boxes without even looking at overall big uh, 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 nine sim trend direction, which I'll show you how to do that too. But then there's your first green box, first transition. It tried to get right there at the low, and then here's your low here again. Then we get a rollover here this morning. This just happened a second ago. You get a rollover in MA. You already had a red box indicating the trend chart saying we got selling pressure. Look how easy this is to see the trades. Right there is your above 80%. And right there is your transition with negative market delta and fire in there also. So now we're red box again. We're trying to get a negative market delta. We still have positive. So that's how you can use this. You can use it in conjunction with what? Matching these trades up. Match. Here's your match down here. And it works on all marks like this. Now remember, this is a small time frame. If you want less trades, go larger time frame. Like if I want to go, let's say a for sim a higher time frame it's still going to read the ninth nine time frame trend so what it'll do is is the same thing it's going to get less trades so if I see here this trade just happened at eight o'clock this morning it's a beautiful short I got a red box red box red box another red box indicating short trend over 80 percent negative market delta or red bar close same thing same thing on the upside, you're selling less trades, you'll have less trade setups, same concept. Larger time frames, get larger trends, same time frame. This time, now watch, here is where it didn't, the larger time frames, the three sim gets in the trade faster. But this will get larger moves. See right there, there's below 80%, caught that bar, there's wave three. On a four sim, here's wave five right to the exact bar. It got below 80%, all green bar still, and then we get these two big giant up moves. If you want to take a step further, you can go to a five sim. You can the larger the larger time frame you trade off of, the less trades you're going to get. So if you, the larger you go, the less you're going to get. So here it caught these two big waves, wave and wave. All right, now let's look at the current price action. Gold just had a set up a second ago, and I'll show you how this works. Let's take a look at gold. Jerry, I'll switch over to gold. I'll just bring gold over real quick. That's okay. I'll bring, over, I'll bring gold over to crude since we're looking at this. So let's take a look at gold. All right, here's gold. Now what I want you to do on gold is I want you to take a look at something. Here's my trend chart. Now check this out how this works together. That's why these boxes work really good with the trend chart. Let me put this up to gold. We'll get back on crude in a second. It's choppy right now, but I'll show you how to do that too. So let's just take a look at this. Gosh darn it. Let's take a look at our gold setup that just happened a second ago. Oh boy. Hold on. Get my cursor on this darn thing. Let me show you how this and the 9 sim relate to each other. So let me pull this over. The 3 is actually leading on this too, and I'll show you. That's why I'm showing you gold right now. Watch. One second. So we could see this was a good transition phase on the trend chart. It's a good transition phase right here because what we have is we have, you see how that was leading on gold, leading the 9 sim, it had the red bars, it gets you out a little bit sooner on your, um, on your scale. This is a good transition. Right when it closed, the red, these red bars, these red bars represent these bars. Now check this out. Here I like this. So these bars right here on the three sim Rinko, this is a three sim Rinko, watch. This is a three sim, three sim Rinko, really small time frame. And this is a what? A nine sim Rinko, larger time frame. Now look how this helps you as a trader. So we know once we get above all three MAs and we see these first red bars come in, we're looking for a buy signal. So those two bars, those two red bars represent these 
red bars, which are how many of them? There's one, two, three, four red bars. So on the three sim, it took all those price bars. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. There's probably like thirty price bars in there to equal two price bars on the nine sim. How does that help you? Because as you can see, my three sim closed a red box before my nine sim even transitioned to a red close. There's about a three to five second move on a transition. So what you can do is this. You can look for a pullback because you're looking for a pullback buy. We're looking for a pullback buy right here because we're looking for what? The trend chart is getting to where? Our 9 sim is getting down near the 10%. We're looking for a pop in the market. Then you go right to the 3 sim. So here's the 3 sim. Here's your first. You're looking for a green bar. There's your first green box, which was this transition bar. So that green box was this one right here. That green box was this bar. Right there. But look how it helps you out. Because you know you're looking for a buy. We know my methodology states that if I get moving average crossed up, if my smaller MA crossed my intermediate, and right there, I'm looking for a buy. If I get near down below 10%, I'm looking for a, sna a snap. I'm looking for a pop in the market. So look at what the trend box boxes do. It's reading the 9 sim. And you can change your parameters, guys. You don't have to have it read the 9 sim. You can let it read the 15 sim or 12 sim, or if you want to re read it, the 5 sim to trade off a 3, you can do that. I like the 9 and 3, 4, 5 combo. But you can do anything you want. It's I got the under parameters, but it's reading the 9 sim. So this chart is reading this chart. So when you want to get the first green bar, what do we want to do? This trade just happened. Very easy setup. We want to take the first retracement. So this box already closed right there. It closed. This box closed. That box closed right there. And Because when it closed, that tells me this bar closed right there. So what I want to do, I know I'm below 10% of my trend chart. I want to take the first retracement long, and thank you for coming to work works on all markets like this right there it got below this it bounced off of it needs to get below on your three sim it's got to get below don't let it touch it let it get below 10 percent and take the first positive market delta with that arrow it caught the exact low to the bar so what I've just done is I've just got long if you're taking this setup you get long right there at the 93 and a half So you just made a $400 potential trade just now after 8 o'clock. And you risked two ticks below the swing low. So let's see how much you risked. The high of this bar, that's where you typically get filled. The high of the bar is 93.5. The low is 92.80. 92.80. Whoops. 92.80 minus two ticks, two ticks below the swing low, 92.60. So 95 and a half minus 9260, you had a nine tick stop on that trade. Nine tick stop on a $400 trade potential. Why? Because we're using a small time frame for entry, a small time frame for stop. Versus a lot of traders have been doing this. They've been taking this bar long right here off the trend chart and placing their stop two ticks below the swing low. What, that's, what that creates is that creates a double stop because it's double the time frame. So what I came up with the trend box is I'm saying, hey, let's use this 9 sim because it's very powerful. It's very accurate. When all you guys get the algo that back tests this setup, you'll see the accuracy is uncanny. You can look at thousands and thousands of trades, and this trend chart will pick up the trades. It's very, very accurate, and you can back test that on our algo that we're getting out to you guys. So we already know the trend chart is very, very effective by itself, all by itself. But the stops are large, larger if you trade off the trend chart by itself. It just is what it is. So then we go to an LTF, lower time frame. All right, so there's your transition phase. Now, like I said, you get two waves in this transition phase. You have a wave three and wave five. 
So the next wave would be here. We got below 10%, just below it. There's your positive market delta. There's your two trades on gold for wave three, wave five that just happened. All right. So that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to get into these trend moves after you close a positive market delta. If you look at the low on this one, when we close positive here, the first retracement, you want to try to look at the first retracement, but what I like to do is I like to match it up with the 9 sim first. Is a 9 sim near what? For example, is a 9 sim near 10% or near or getting 90% for sales, you know, that lets you know if you're in a great position in the market. For example, if you were short this market, let's say that, that the market's uh, obviously in a slight uptrend, but let's say you get the red box up here. That told you that this bar closed red. Your first retracement short would be right here. Here's your short side setup. Why? Right to that exact bar. Why? Because you're above 90%. The trend is now down, and I still got red boxes behind me. The only time I wouldn't take a short is if I red box here, and I'm above 90%, and this box right above me is green. Don't match it up, because that trend box is very, very important. Match up the full retracement above 90, below 10. The box better be the same color of the direction you're trading. If not, you're going to get in trouble. All right, so there would be your next trade right there. Now, this trade, see how the market's coming off? See this trade right here? That would not be a trade. Why would that not be a trade right here? See if you guys are paying attention. On this next wave down, this trade that's happening right now, why is this not a trade? It's still a red box. Why is that not a trade? Not above 90%. Yeah, so you, gotta, you, you still got to remember the rules. You gotta still remember the rules. You gotta be above on the three sim, especially. You better be in a full retracement, above 90 or below. What I want you to realize is this: is that, and you're gonna see this. This three is very leading. It will calculate before this before this bar comes up. It really helps you on your uh, what I've been finding on your scaling. It's about a five second, seven second heads up really works nice now the beautiful thing about this trade setup we dipped inside market profile and retested let me add to you why I like this so well I mean look at this we broke inside one of my favorite trades breaking inside a profile that's triple support retest on that retest was 95 and a half and right there was a short this is a beautiful short and you don't get better than that because market profile agreed too. broke back inside retested trend box right there that is a corrective wave short you caught the exact high to the exact bar so you caught the motive wave here at eight o'clock and you just ate 40 caught the corrective wave there you caught both sides of the market using these trend boxes with the charts pretty cool huh all right now if you want to trade larger time frames like I said you want to go to a larger time frame no problem that's the three if you want to trade, a lot of traders like to trade the four. It's in between the three and five. It's the same concept. This is your buy signal right here this morning. Right? Just less trades. Watch. You're just not going to catch a three and a five wave, but it still caught both waves. It caught the corrective wave, and it caught the, right there is your motive wave. Caught it right to the exact bar. It just caught the corrective wave right there to the exact bar high. That's a four sim. So, the three sim is going to be a little bit faster, so you can catch these trades. But either either way, these are two nice setups, two gorgeous setups right there. There's your buy, there's your sell. You want to go even longer? You can go into a five sim. I wouldn't go larger than five. You get a lot of trades on three, especially the Nasdaq futures. They just fire off trade after trade. It's crazy. But the, the, see the five doesn't get there does it because I'm trading off on that so now what you can do is you can trade off a smaller time frame and catch these trades check this out 
he can trade off a real small time frame now. And it's caught this wave. It just caught this wave right here. Caught there. Caught here. See that how that works? See how beautiful that is. Here, 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 and just had another trade fire off right now. There with the trend box down. All right, so this just overlaps your time frame. Uh, this overlaps your um, your small time frame charts, but it reads off the nine. Now, what it looks like, I'll show you real quick, so you understand how this works. It's very simple. I'll show you the back end of the indicator. You can change your colors too, guys and gals. So, right here. So you can go in here and you can change. This is the Russell 2000, but the indicator looks like this. I caught it's called J Trend Box, but we're naming it Sim Trend Box. We're going to change the name to Sim because we're everything is Sim based. So it won't be called J Trend Box; it'll be called Sim Trend Box. But you can change your colors if you want your up bars to look different colors. You can change anything you want to it. You know, if you want it light blue. You know, red, it doesn't matter. How, I, I like the, the Chartese because it sort of pops a little bit. Don't go too dark. You can't see your price action. But you can change it to any color you want, the bars. You know. But what I want to show you on the indicator is look what it's doing. What period is it reading right now? What period is that that it's reading? And I specifically made this for my nine Renko, my, my Renko bars. Reading a nine, right? So that's reading off a nine sim Renko. These are nine sim Renko bars. But what time frame am I trading off of? Right? Let's put it down to three. Right? You trade off a of three. You can trade off a of three. So this is a nine, and there's your three, three price action bar. All right, Gerald, go and shut that off.